New developments in two homicides yesterday in Tulsa County and the nationwide manhunt for the alleged killer. Police tell us 41-year-old Terencio Tercios shot his wife in Tulsa, then another man in Glenpool. That's where we find two news reporter Brandon Richard with the latest. Well, Karen, that second shooting took place in the mobile home behind me. It's the home of David Grummer, the second victim. Earlier, we spoke with one of his neighbors, an eyewitness who came face to face with the suspect. Low Farnsworth was doing repair work outside his home when he says a Hispanic male driving a white Nissan truck pulled up to neighbor David Grummer's trailer across the street. He says the man had a calm demeanor about him. Well, even when he got here, he was calm. I mean, I never, I just I looked at the guys for a while in his truck, looked right at him, he looked at me, and he just seemed normal. The man entered the residence, and a few minutes later, next thing you know, I heard what I thought was a nail gun, you know, but it was really loud. He backed out with a pistol in hand, he backed out of the house, and he looked over at me, and he never moved his gun from where it was pointing. He says the suspect then fled. He got out of here pretty quick. Investigators determined that the man Farnsworth saw was in fact Terencio Tercios, who they say had shot his wife Victoria outside her Tulsa apartment moments before shooting Grummer inside his Glenpool trailer. According to witness reports, Tercios accused his wife of having an affair with Grummer. Something about messing around with his wife or something like that. And like I say, it's pure speculation. We don't have any proof either way. One of Victoria's friends says she knew something bad was going to happen given how Victoria was being treated. A lot of abuse, a lot of psychological abuse, a lot of terrorizing her. It was horrible what she lived through. Now, authorities were able to find that white pickup truck, but no sign of the suspect who was last seen in the McAllister area. Live in Glenpool, Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you.